Today we are going to try to edit a raw file and change it to something like this using the free apps Snapseed and Lightroom. This is a raw DNG file which I am going to edit. For the DNG files you will get a dedicated develop menu from where we are going to try extracting basic details from the image. Starting here by increasing the exposure for more light. Reducing the highlights for details in the sky. Increasing the shadows for details in the foreground. Bit of contrast, structure. Also increasing saturation before and after. You can already see big difference here. Moving now to some advanced editing to manipulate the image. Starting with selective filters. Couple on the greens to make them pop by increasing brightness and saturation. One on the mountains where I'm going to increase the structure a bit. Also some saturation. Now to get some pop around the water stream flowing in the middle, I'm going to first apply the vintage filter with preset 12 for a vignette effect. Darkening the filter here. Then with masking, Tapping on the stacks icon, view edits, vintage filter and brush. Here with the effect enabled and the brush value set at 0. Removing the effect on the middle and also the greens to give them some limelight. So around the middle part of the sky. Fine tuning masking with various levels of transparency. the changes here. To get more light in the middle part of the sky, first using curves, I am going to lift the blacks to make the overall image very bright. Also going to add reds and also yellows by dragging the top point of the blue curve down. With masking, applying it around the middle part of the sky. Experimenting here with different levels of brush transparency with the light leaking on the mountains.
Next I'm going to further brighten the parts around the water stream and the greens using curves increasing the brightness. And with masking applying it. Now to give color to the water as an artistic touch, in tune image reducing the warmth to minus 100 to add blues to the overall image. With masking, carefully applying it on the water stream. Zooming out this looks pretty good. Next I'm gonna try making it a bit cloudy. Again using curves, dragging the low point to lift the blacks. With masking, first applying with 100% transparency and then removing the effect by altering the transparency values to make it look like a few clouds floating around. As an afterthought, I'm going to decrease the colors applied in the sky. Brightness will remain the same. After these changes in Snapseed, to give it a fall look, I'm going to export this to the free Lightroom app. In the Lightroom app, starting here in the light menu, Increasing the whites and decreasing the blacks to give more punch to the brighter and the darker parts. Now moving to the HSL sliders in color menu mix. First increasing the saturation of the blues, also brightening it a bit. Moving the green hues towards yellow a bit and yellows towards oranges. Increasing the overall vibrance. In the effects menu, I'm gonna add some texture to the overall image. You can see there is still some room to get some colors out of those yellows. So I'm gonna save this and import the image again. Again going to the color menu mix. Now moving the yellows again towards oranges. Also a bit of saturation. You can see some changes now. Also moving the green hues just a bit towards aquas 
for some color contrast in the vegetation. Coming to the curves in the light menu, tuning the overall contrast. The final result here. Thanks for watching.